Hi everyone, I'm going to get right into the reading. Um, I appreciate your comments, even just leaving a heart comments. It really helps me get back into the algorithm. I love hearing your stories too, so thank you guys for the support. I channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be your reading. Only take it if it resonates. Two of Pentacles, the Magician, Two of Wands, the Hermit, the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Let's see here. The Star. So I feel like this is somebody, this could be your person, but I feel like this is probably more a reading for you. I feel like this is more talking about where you're at in your journey. I feel like maybe you you just had a lot on your plate, like you might have been struggling with some mental health issues. You just had things that you were juggling. Could have been like conflicting sides of yourself, you know, two things that were at odds. And I feel like some of you didn't really, it's like you didn't know how to get out of this energy. You might have been stuck. It's like you, you maybe almost kind of going from like being introverted to extroverted like you're not sure if you just want to be alone or if you want to put yourself out there again just kind of conflicted not really sure where to go next in life and I feel like some of you tried to just jump a couple steps ahead it's like you were tired of waiting for this to manifest you were tired of tired of waiting for true love to come in or tired of waiting for that job promotion or you know finding a new career you it's like you're kind of in this stagnant energy and you didn't really understand why you were there. And I think you just got fed up with it. And I think you kind of just jumped straight into your power. Like with the magician, you're like, you know what? I'm getting out of this. I'm manifesting what I want. But I almost feel like you were guided to go back and redo some things. It's like there were some things. I don't want to say you try to sweep under the rug, but kind of. It's kind of like you you were conflicted and you didn't know how to get out of that. And you kind of just jumped ahead a few steps. But I feel like now you're, you've gone back or you're currently go in the middle of this, currently going back so that you can actually do the genuine healing. So whatever it was, instead of putting a Band-Aid on it, it's like you're actually really looking at these patterns of yours so that you can heal. You're thinking about the long term. You're going into hermit mode. You're really doing some deep soul searching. And, you know, these anxieties, these frustrations, these fears, it's like you're really taking a deeper look at them and you're healing them. And I think that's why you're going to be able to move ahead because like I said before, it's kind of like you just jumped ahead, but there were there were still deep subconscious wounds that were maybe blocking you. It, it's like you had certain things that were just kind of blocking you from manifesting the the love and the life and the abundance that you wanted. But I think since you're in hermit mode right now, going back and, and really looking at these patterns, looking at like really being honest with yourself about whatever has held you back, that's why you're able to move forward, why you're able to to heal these things, because you're you're it's like you're shining a light on them. You're not just sweeping them under the rug anymore. You're you're actually really being honest with yourself about your patterns. And I feel like you're taking responsibility too. Like, let's say that you've been trying to manifest money, but you're, it's like you're not putting resumes out there or you're not, um, like you're in the same old job or you're, you're, you're maybe like you have like a, a bad karmic pattern with money. Maybe like when money comes in, it's like you spend it too quickly. And I, cause I just feel this energy of like someone like really taking responsibility. They're like, okay, I need to look at this karmic pattern. I need to, I need to make sure that I, um, you know, when money comes in that I that I balance it out, that I, I save some money and then I spend some money on things that I need, you know, like I have a little bit of fun, but I also make sure that I have something saved in case I need it. Same with love. I think I think some of you are wanting to manifest new love, but you're not rushing back out there. You're making sure that you you take your time. You're making sure that you have all the facts, all the, the details, the answers. Eight of Wands, the High Priestess. Why the Four of Cups? Temperance, Six of Wands. The Fool. 
I feel like you're becoming the high priestess very quickly, whether you're male or female. You're in this energy of um, some of you might be traveling, like you might be going on a vacation soon, or you might be guided to travel. I'm also hearing travel the spiritual realms. Like some of you are being guided to really get into like um, lucid dreaming and energy work and subliminals and astral travel and all those things. Like some of you are going with your intuition on that. And, and being guided to explore on a soul level. Others of you, and it could be a combination of both, but others of you are also being guided to travel to certain places. Like you're being guided to, um, to just get out there and, and have fun and explore. And I feel like you're really becoming the high priestess here. It's like you're becoming someone that's very uh, knowledgeable, very intuitive, very powerful. I feel like some of you have like one final block. It's like you had already done so much healing work. And so I feel like that was kind of why you wanted to jump from the two of pentacles to the magician, because you got to that point where you're like, I'm, I'm sick of having so much on my plate. I'm sick of this stagnant energy. I don't know where I'm going next. Like, I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm in my power now. I'm good. But then it was like you were guided to go back because you had that like one last pattern or one last thing that was kind of, it could have been a big thing too that was blocking you that you had to look at and, and clear up that pattern. There was something that you had to be honest with yourself about. And I think you've been honest with yourself about it. And I think it was a pattern. I really feel like it was some kind of pattern. I'm getting I'm getting money for a lot of you too. It's like might have maybe some karmic relationship with, um, with money, you know, because money is an energy. So many of you had to look at, at um, what was stopping you from manifesting. For some, it's like you're trying to manifest these new things, but you're not, you're not putting yourself out there to be in a place to manifest them. Like you're, you're kind of like you're wanting love, but you're not really leaving the house or you're wanting a new job, but you're not like looking to see what else is out there or applying. It, it's like, and I think now you're kind of stepping into your power and you're, you're actively, you know, you're, you're playing a more active role in your life where before it was more passive and now you're in more of this, uh, a much stronger energy. Tell me about the, the four of cups and the temperance. Queen of wands. Three of pentacles. Three of wands. justice I think you're waiting for what you deserve you're not um if anyone's like you're kind of allowing things more like if somebody's rejecting you or pushing you away you're just kind of allowing it you're like you know what I I don't deserve this it's like you're finding that balance you're not um like if someone rejects you or if you get rejected from a certain job instead of Maybe you used to get in your head about it or you used to get really upset and now you're like, you know what, that's, it wasn't for me in that case or it's not, or I'm, I'm not aligning with this anymore. If something rejects me or if someone rejects me, then I don't want it. I want somebody that really, I'm, I'm going to wait for the person, for my justice. I'm going to wait for my divine justice. I'm going to wait for, you know, a, a job where I'm going to actually, I'm not going to settle. I'm going to wait for a job that actually really makes me happy. I'm going to I'm going to um, wait for that relationship where they're actually building with me as a team, whether it's someone from the past or it's somebody new. It's like you're just you're in a certain vibration. You're in a very high, very, um, very attractive. Queen of Wands is very beautiful, very attractive, very seductive. You probably have a lot of potential suitors right now, a lot of people that are just really drawn to your energy right now. You're just magnetic, especially with the high priestess here too in the sun. It's like you're this this light, this very bright light in people's lives. People look up to you. Um, you're, you're becoming, you might be working on like, you know, physically like skincare, makeup, um, hair, uh, like going to the gym, it's it's like you're really working on your appearance too, and people are noticing that people are people are very physically drawn to you right now, and very spiritually drawn to you as well. So you're manifesting multiple options when it comes to um, kind of making the world your oyster, love, money, whatever you want, really. But yeah, it's like you're in alignment. You're staying in your power. You're not. If someone rejects you, it's like you don't lose yourself to that anymore. You don't lose yourself in that energy. You don't get in your head about it. You don't, 
you um and it's good to process your emotions like if you feel upset let yourself be upset let your emotions flow naturally but i'm just getting that your your perspective is kind of changing where instead of being like well like why didn't they want me why didn't why didn't this why didn't that you're just like okay well that that's not for me then i'm i'm going to I'm just going to stay in alignment. I'm going to stay on my throne. I'm going to stay in my power. And the right person for me is going to step up and match my energy on and be on that throne next to me. I'm not going to get off my throne again. I'm staying on my throne. I'm staying in this high attractive vibration. And um, it's kind of like you're balancing it out too in, in waiting for what you deserve, but also taking an active role in manifesting that. So like you might be doing manifestation work right now to to manifest, you know, love, money, career, whatever you want out of life, but you're not chasing anybody. You're not you're not throwing yourself at anybody. You're not you're not um you're not draining your energy. You're you're not you're not in like a chaser mode. You're just you're 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 playing a role in the creation of your life, but you're also kind of um in your divine feminine energy or divine masculine energy, take it as it resonates, but you're in this very powerful, seductive energy, male or female. And it's like, you're just kind of um, like putting yourself out there, but like waiting at the same time. I hope that makes sense. It's like you're, you're, you're staying in alignment. You're not letting anybody get you out of this you're in you're in a higher vibration and you're staying in this you're staying in your power you're you, you're aware of what you deserve you're very confident right now you're you're working behind the scenes on manifesting these blessings and making these things happen for you and you're putting yourself in a place to receive these things but you're also um, letting them come to you, like you're drawing them in. I hope that makes sense. So it's like you are playing a part in the creation of this. You're not, you're not trying to manifest love and just like sitting at home all the time. But you're not chasing anyone either. It's like you're trying to manifest love, but you're and you're like doing the work to manifest it, and you're making yourself more attractive. But you're also like going out and like doing fun things in the community and putting yourself in. Um, like situations where you can meet people, you know, or same for, for jobs. It's like, you're not stressing yourself out, chasing a job or chasing money or career. Cause I do feel like this is money or career for a lot of you. So it's, it's like, you're not, um, stressing yourself out, like trying to, trying to manifest, you know, money or career or whatever else. It's, it's like, you're just kind of, um, like you're aligning with it. You're manifesting it. You're doing the, you know, the vision boards or the, you know, visualizations, affirmations, whatever kind of energy work you do and maybe applying at certain places, but you're not like chasing anything. You know what I mean? Like you're putting yourself out there, but you're, you're taking, um, what is it? Like the path of least resistance is kind of what I'm feeling. You know what I mean? Like you might apply at jobs or you might talk to people, but if it doesn't happen smoothly, you're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like pursue it and be like aggressive about it and be like, oh, this has to be the one you're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm doing the work, I'm open, and the right things are, are going to come to me. And I'm going to put myself in a position where I'm available for those things. And so I feel like I feel like with this balance that you have, um, you're really learning the keys to manifestation. So I think that good things are going to start coming in for you. Why the five of wands? chariot the ace of wands you could have multiple options right now even competing for you honestly because people are seeing you in this new light yeah judgment and the hanged man it's like new perspective some people that some people that kind of slept on you are, are look, doing a double take now and they're looking back and they're like oh wow she's she's he or she is you know, this could be for men too. take it as it resonates, male or female. And that goes for all my readings. If you're watching it and I keep saying she, but you're a male and you're feeling like you're in that energy, then, then trust it. You know, there's, there's no, there's no, no specific gender here. It's just whoever it's for. But anyway, whoever this is for, it's like your, um, like these people that didn't see your worth or they didn't see your attractiveness. It's, it's like, you're really kind of glowing up is what I'm feeling. And Ace of Wands can be very, it's very phallic, so it can be a sexual energy. It's also a passionate new start. And I feel like, I feel like there's more than one person that's wanting a new start with you. Some of these new people, maybe you haven't even met them yet. Like maybe it's just, um, 
Maybe you have someone from your past and you're starting to manifest new people because your energy is attractive. So it's like they're in your energy field, like they're about to manifest in the physical. But yeah, it's like people are having like a new perspective when it comes to you. They're doing a double take and looking at you differently and like making a judgment call. They're like, oh, wow, this is this is an attractive energy. Like this is this is a very sexy energy that you're in. All right, let's wrap this reading up. What's the what are the final messages? I'm almost seeing too that you're um you're standing up for yourself more because I'm, I'm actually gu guided right now to just look at the images on the cards and not even look at the what they are. I'm just looking at the images. You see this this person's like charging towards her with this sword and she's got her sword up. She's not even fighting. He looks like he's fighting. He looks like he's in battle. And she's just like, no, you're you're just blocked. You're not. I'm on my throne. You're just you're coming in with this energy with petty games, with manipulation, with um. Un, uh, just unnecessary drama or trying to one up me or anything like that. Like you try to cut me down and, and she's just staying on her throne. She's just, she's protected. It's kind of that energy that I was talking about too, that I was channeling. Remember I was saying, it's like, you're in this energy where you're very powerful and you're, you're manifesting things. Like you're taking an active part in manifesting things that you want. You're putting yourself in positions to, to receive those things, but you're still staying in this kind of like feminine energy, like this very receptive energy. You're not in a masculine energy. You're in this, even if you're a man, you're still in a more feminine energy right now where you're in a more um, receptive energy where you're allowing, it's like, you're just kind of, you're in your power and you're manifesting things. You're drawing things to you. And this kind of, this card, the way that she's, she is, it's kind of reminding me of that where it's like, you know, she is protecting herself. She is taking that active role, but she's still just sitting on her throne. She's not, you see all this energy that he's putting in like into like this battle or whatever. And she's just sitting on her throne. Like you're not, no one's coming at me like that. I don't even have to get off my throne. I'm going to stay on my throne. You're no one's coming at me like that. Mm -mm. Like anyone that rejects her, or pushes her away or, or or plays games with her, they're just going to get cut out. They're not even going it, to, it, it's not even, I don't think she's even going to like engage. She's just, she's just going to be like, no, we're not doing that. She's going to be the queen of cups for the person that's going to be the king of cups, whether it's this past person getting it together or whether it's somebody new. The Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have multiple people, honestly, seeing you as you could have two potential life partners here. Even you're going to have multiple people that are going to um, people from the past that are going to start seeing your worth, but also like new people, too, that are going to kind of see the potential that you have. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yeah, like all these people wanting to message you, all these people wanting like some kind of new emotional start with you. Knight of Pentacles. And I think you're just going to you're you're going to give your time and energy to the people that really um, appreciate you, the people that are really, you know, stepping up. You're not you're not dealing with anybody that breadcrumbs. You. You're not going back to any of those past energies. Yeah, that karmic cycle has completed with the Wheel of Fortune. If you were dealing with something that you were being breadcrumbed or you were just weren't. It's like you're having to beg this person for for time, for energy, for attention, and they're not even noticing you. They're looking at somebody else and giving somebody else what you're begging them for you know, devil energy, there, there might have been some kind of, um, it could be a relationship, it could be a job situation where you were not treated fairly by coworkers, by um, managers, but whatever it is, that karmic cycle is wrapping up. And a relationship can be like, a, you can be like in a karmic, um, like you can have karmic lessons to learn with someone that's meant to be like your forever person, like your life partner. So, but it just means at least that aspect of if that was a relationship, then at least those aspects of the relationship have wrapped up where if you do go back to this past person, like if this past person does step up and get it together, they're not going to be able to, you're not on this vibration anymore. They're not going to be able to come in with that same petty energy, that same breadcrumbing 
given you the bare minimum, it's not going to work again. That car, that cycle has completed. So basically what I'm feeling is they're going to have to come forward in a new way. They're going to have to come forward in a more masculine, more assertive way, in a brave way, in a, you know, taking a leap of faith. Because that's the vibration you're in and you're staying in that high vibration. And so you're kind of... um you're kind of at like a crossroads right now where it might feel kind of lonely too because it's like you're you're ending these old cycles and you're manifesting something new but you're not sure what that looks like yet. You're kind of like, "Well, shit, where do I like where do I go from here? Like what comes next?" You're kind of just in the in between. So, you know, just just be comfortable in that in between and don't go back to um to old patterns. You know what I mean? Like keep you're you're in that in between stage, but you're still going forward. You're still coming out of that into you're 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 currently growing into this higher vibration, this higher um, like really being in your power. And like I said, this pattern with this person, this could be someone that you still love or still want to be with, but they're just they're like I said, they're not going to be allowed to come forward in that energy that they were in before with breadcrumbing, giving you the bare minimum. It's it's not you're not going to resonate with it. I don't think I don't think you ever resonated with it. But I think you're at a point where you, you know, you, you still don't resonate with it, but you're also just not going to allow it. You're not going to make excuses for it. So it's like, I feel like this new person is, or I feel like this, this old person is going to have to come forward with a love offer in a new way, in a, in a more, like, they're going to have to meet you at your level. You're, you're not as patient anymore. They're going to have to step up and rise and, and meet you at your level and um, give you a good reason to give this a chance again. And give you a reason to open up to this again. But I also feel like you have new love coming in as well. Especially if this person's taking their sweet time. You're probably going to meet someone new before you know it. Because, you know, your spirit guides aren't really playing when it comes to you. They're not going to, they're not going to let this person, if this person's sitting on the fence, they're, they're, they're not going to, they're going to be knocked right off that fence. If like someone's sitting on the fence and they're like, mm, I don't know if I want to come and go, they're just going to be knocked off and they'll be like, damn, I wish I had jumped over that fence. I wish I hadn't been you know, taking my time. Yeah, because you're single. You're single right now. You're abundant. You're you're available right now. You're open to love. Yeah, whether it's an old person or a new person, you're just open to love in general. You're just you're staying in your power. Whoever wants to work for it, whoever's gonna show you whoever's gonna step up and show you they're worthy of you, that's who you're gonna give a chance to. Okay, let's wrap this reading up. Hmm. Yeah, someone's realizing that, that they're... That you are their wish fulfillment. You have two men here. You have a king of swords and you have a king of pentacles. Or two women. Could be a queen of swords and a queen of pentacles. Because we did get those cards too. You have a king of cups too. You might have... You, you might... It's almost like... Sometimes when you get in that vibration where you really step into your power and you're just kind of in this very attractive energy, sometimes you manifest like more than one person. Like you might have like random exes that you haven't even talked to in a long time hitting you up because it's like they feel that energetic shift in you. They feel your energy has changed. And so they're kind of, it's kind of like a curiosity where they come forward with a message. Um, so you might even have to be protect, you know, protect your energy a little bit because you might have these these exes from you know years ago that are trying to come back into your energy field and you're like what the hell like I haven't talked to you in like three years four years like what are you doing you know what I mean you're, you're just like you're like no like that was shady I don't I don't want that back <laughs> yeah because you're not blindfolded you're not you're not um yeah like you, there's certain situations where it's like you know it's gonna just be heartbreak yeah yeah, truth and clarity, especially with the Six of Cups, that's about like people from the past or childhood. I really feel like you're going to have exes from years. If you're in this energy group, it's like I really feel like you are going to have people from years ago hitting you up. 
because it kind of happens like when you're like manifesting love like when you're just in that vibration you're just everything's just kind of flowing you know and you'll probably feel that vibration too if you're like traveling like you know how when you travel sometimes you just meet new people and it's like there's so many synchronicities like everything just all kind of falls into place it's like you you miss your bus and then you meet somebody that ends up being like a lifelong friend because you miss that bus and you end up talking to them when you you normally wouldn't have talked to them or you you um just just random things like that where it's like everything just kind of flows like have you guys noticed that like when you travel it just kind of everything just lines up because you're in this very spiritual, very open-minded energy. And that's kind of the energy I see you coming into. It's this very deep, peaceful, spiritual energy that you're coming into. Um, and yeah, people from your past, I feel like there's, there's going to be, yeah, it's like they're going to feel that and they're going to want to come back around. And I just feel, I feel like you're going to know though, you're, you're not going to, you're going to cut it out pretty, pretty quick. Cause it's, it's people from like a long time ago. I don't even, it's strange. Cause I'm almost getting like three or four years ago. It's like people that like people you haven't talked to in a while. It's like, they're going to feel something in that energy shift and you're going to have to kind of stand your ground. Cause yeah, when you're in that alignment and you're like manifesting love, sometimes you just, it's, it's like you attract everybody. So you have to sort through it. But I feel like with your confidence level, you'll be able to do that. You're not going to just be like, I'm desperate for love. I'm just going to pick the first one that comes in. You're going to really like take the time to explore your options and to, to see what else comes in, to see even with jobs. It's like you're, you might not even take the first job. You might really wait and see if these other places call you back. You know what I mean? Like you're being very mindful of your energy and just kind of choosing it's it's kind of like you're becoming more aware of energy you're staying in a certain vibration and you're you're gonna wait to feel what aligns with that vibration that you're on so i hope this helped you guys i'm gonna go ahead and put this out thanks for watching